one, and that means a total of 19 fences all told to take. And running towards the first of them with the uh, favourite of the off, 11 to 4, Bradbury Star, who is up there in about third place, the early leader being Mr. Entertainer. Mr. Entertainer with Docklands Express, these two followed by Bradbury Star. And now they go to the second fence, the first ditch. Mr. Entertainer, the grey, landing just first, all are safely over. From in second place, Docklands Express, then right after those two, Bradbury Star with gold options, hugging the inside is Tin Ryland as they get to the first turn, right over on the far side of the track they are. Mr. Tainer, who fell in this race last year, but leads them now by a length and a half from Docklands Express, and then in third now is the outsider Joyful Noise, who's made headway and races now just in front of uh, Gold Options in Tilton Ryland. After these, Rowlandson's Jewels, and then the second grey, that's Carla Pires, who is followed by Zeta's Lad, the last two at the moment, a blazing walker, and finally a royal athlete. And now to the third fence, and Mr. Entertainer again, touched down just first from Docklands Express and Joyful Noise. And then right after those against the rails, Tin Ryland with gold options. And they're going now to the second open ditch. Mr. Entertainer again over at first. Mr. Entertainer from Docklands Express. And so as they near the next, which will be number five, it'll be the fifth last next time around. Mr. Entertainer by a length and a half from Go uh, Docklands Express and then gold options. After these three and four, Joyful Noise, five is Tin Ryland, six the favourite Bradbury Star. And then seven, Carla Pires, and followed by Blazing Walker, another plain fence. After Blazing Walker, Zeta's Lad, the last three are Royal Athlete, Rowlandson's Jewels, and finally now, Romany King. So they have a long run round towards the home straight with Mr. Entertainer making it. Mr. Entertainer with John Kavanagh, followed by Docklands Express, who started at six to one when winning this grade three chase a year ago behind him. As they begin this turn into the home straight, it comes uh, on the outside, Joyful Noise, he's the complete outsider in the striped jacket. And then the grey Carla Pires over against the inside, Gold Options with Tin Ryland next, then Blazing Walker for the north, that's the second favourite. And now they're moving to fence number eight. Into this eighth now, Mr Entertainer still from Joyful Noise now taking second ahead of Docklands Express. Behind him, Bradbury Star still on the premises, then Gold Options over on the inside, up towards the outer. The grey Carla Pye is very prominent, and this is the ninth fence of the race. Mr. Entertainer yet to be headed, still leading them. So the order as they come up now past the enclosures with a circuit to go, it's Mr. Entertainer now just headed by Joyful Noise. So Joyful Noise belying his outsider's odds at the moment, leading at the post. From Mr. Entertainer 2, then Docklands Express 3, Bradbury Star 4, 5 is Gold Option, 6 in Ryland. In 7th place is Carla Pires, then 8 against the fence, Blazing Walker. 9 is Romany King making ground. In 10th place, Zeta's Lad, 11 Royal Athletes, and relegated to 12th and last as they take the water Rowlandson's Jewels. They've now reached halfway in this Grade 3 racing post chase with Mr. Entertainer, who's made it all so far, still just the leader from uh, Joyful Noise, who had led for a stride or two, but he's back in second between the pair, Docklands Express. Docklands Express trying to win this race for the third time running, and they're now at the third open ditch, the 12th fence. Mr. Entertainer again from Joyful Noise and Docklands Express, and after them, Bradbury Star going strongly, so too Carla Pires, Tin Ryland, who's been on the premises throughout, then Blazing Walker getting a nice run through on the inside in the yellow jacket, blue cap. After them, and making a little ground now, Zeta's Lad together with Royal Athlete. And these are the prices that uh, you'll be paid out on. Bradbury Star, 11 to 4, Blazing Walker, 4 to 1, Gold Options, 15 to 2. It's 8th Romany King until Ryland, 10 to 1, bar those 5. And now they have just about uh, a mile to go from this point, and they're well grouped still, these 12 runners, with Mr. Entertainer, one of the two greys, again landing just first, but now Bradbury Star has uh, taken much closer order and is right up there now disputing it. So it's Mr. Entertainer from Bradbury Star, Docklands Express, Carla Pires, and then after them, Royal Athlete making ground, so too, and the four of that one is Joyful Noise, the outsider. Joyful Noise gone, the uh, rider there, Tim Jarvis, is on his feet OK. Meantime, as they come to the final open ditch, and Mr. Entertainer joined her just past the, by uh, Bradbury Star. He pecked a bit, did uh, Mr. Entertainer. And then Zeta's Lad making his charge on the outside, followed by Royal Athlete Docklands Express back in the heat of the action again. And after them come Romany King, the Grand National Annie Post favourite, and then Blazing Walker. Now he's got quite a bit to do. After him, Carla Pires 
and gold options who's dropping away then tin ryland and last of all in 11th place is Rowland St. Jules, but they're making the home turn, and it's the favourite, Bradbury Star, the youngest in the field, who's been sent into a narrow lead. Now, Bradbury Star from uh, Docklands Express, and then Zeta's lad unbeaten this season. He's coming strongly, so too on the outside, Romany King at the third last. Bradbury Star lands marginally first from Zeta's lad, none going better than him at the moment. Just two fences to take in the big race. Bradbury Star from uh, Zeta's lad. Between the pair is Docklands Express, who's back on turn again, then Royal Athlete, after them comes Mr. Tay, entertaining the early leader, then Blazing Walker staying on quite nicely, Gold Options is rallying but he's left it too late, and it's a three horse contest as, contest as they get to the last, Zeta's lad took it just first from the favourite Bradbury Star, Docklands Express coming strongly between the pair, but it's Zeta's lad just from Docklands Express and Bradbury Star, close home, Zeta's lad is just going to get it, Zeta's lad completes a map and it wins as he takes the racing post chase, in second Docklands Express, the winner for the last two Years. Third is the favourite Bradbury Star. Four Royal Athlete, five gold options, and then in six Blazing Walker, seven Romney King, eight Mr. Entertainer, nine Carla Paez. Tenth was Rowlandson's Jewels, and eleventh and last just coming up to the line now at a walk, Tim Ryland. So once again a great race, an eleven to one winner in uh, Zeta's Lad. The outcome, he was also the best turned out horse. So a great day for Stable Connections. The result then of this racing post chase. A win for number seven, Zeta's Lad, owned by Mrs. Diane Upson, trained a toaster by John Upson, his 23rd winner of the season, and ridden by John White. Well, we're coming towards the closing stage of the race now, and it was just about here that Zeta's Lad, the ultimate winner, took it up from Bradbury Star, who was produced at just about the right time by Declan Murphy, but now look at the Docklands Express coming strongly again. Under 12 stone this time, Docklands Express, who won it last year at 6-1, to one. he was successful the year before, made a great effort to try and win it for the third year running, but he just couldn't quite withstand the late burst of the horse in form, Zeta's Lad. So up towards the line, Zeta's Lad in the end, going on to win it quite cosily from, in second place, Dolphins Express, Jamie Osborne. Third was number six, Bradbury Star, and fourth, number five, Royal Athlete. <laughs>